How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome yourselves back to another review on the channel. Now, I haven't forgot about Yusuf at all. Uh, last night, I, I worked until I went to sleep. Worked. I played a video game, Marshall Mears. I, I played that until I went to sleep. It it's really hot in the UK, and uh, I don't like squad battles. So basically, what I was doing was playing Rivals in July to get the best card in the game. But uh, I, I will continue to progress on it. I actually played some today as well. So it got around 31 degrees. Now in the UK, that is very, very hot. Uh, because our houses, they're built for insulation. I'm basically sitting in an oven right now. But today we got two brand new SPCs. I know I missed one yesterday on Koki. Uh, I could do that. If you guys do want to see it, make sure you put it in the comments. I did do a shorts yesterday. You've got to remember, lads, these shorts are completely different from the actual content on the channel. Uh, just keep that in mind when you look at the content. Completely different content. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Just stick to these videos. But uh, today, Everton's Allen and former Everton's Bernard. Basically, after that Bernard SPC, it got released. Bernard was sold... An hour later to, I think it was a, a UAE team. I, I'm not too sure on the team name. But uh, yeah, Bernard's no longer an Everton man. So he got very lucky this this SPC. And uh, they released the dynamic duo, I believe they called him. Alan and Bernard. We're going to review Alan first of all. Lads, if you do enjoy this review, you know what to do. Like, a comment and subscribe. And in the comment section below, make sure you let me know your thoughts on this card. And who else you do want to see reviewed on the channel. Uh, lads, you can see his stats if you just missed them on your screen right now. Uh, medium high work rates. For a CDM, what does that mean? Perfection. That's what it means. Medium high is perfect for a CDM because every counter-attack you face, he gets back and he puts his all into getting back into position and getting back for your team. Uh, right foot primarily. Four-star skills are very, very good. Three-star weak foot, it's not that bad, but for an attacker, if he does get into that zone, uh, it's, it, it will hinder him from time to time. In terms of his stats, lads, this card looks absolutely impeccable, but... um. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with these stances. Uh, of course, you could critique uh, his sprint speed, but uh, honestly, basic takes it to plus 90, 91, of course. Uh, and I would recommend basic on this card to boost some stats that potentially need boosted. I wouldn't say definitely need boosted. Actually, boost a lot of different stats over a lot of different sections that could enhance the card. That is basically what I'm trying to say. Let's, let's start with his pace, boys. Acceleration. Perfect for that kind of rolled in that position on the pitch. 96 acceleration. Oh, I can't even say. 96 acceleration. That's like a tongue twister for a northern lad. 96 acceleration and 86 sprint speed. Uh, again, for a CM, box to box, or even as a DM, that is sensational. Shooting wise, again, you look at his volleys and penalties and you think, hey, it's not even that good. But if you look at it in terms like finishing, it is very good. 92 finishing uh, with 90 shot power, plus 5 to 95. And of course, the composure will give him the edge in front of goal. And it's got some very good goals at Allen as well. Yes, even though I was playing as, uh, yeah, he played as a CDM in that 4 4 no, 3 5 2. Yeah, that's the formation I'm playing right now, right? Yeah, I believe it is. Uh, 3 5 2. And he, he actually scored some goals as well as getting some assists and some perfect tackles. You basically see it all uh, once we do it the gameplay. He's got 86 long shots on the weak foot. Do not attempt it, but on the strong foot, I definitely would give it a go. Passing looks brilliant. He's got the vision, short pass, long pass as well. He just lacks the curve at 77. Free kicks, by the way, set pieces do not do anything with Allen. Penalties, 58. The reticle will expand so much. Uh, well, actually, no, that's the penalties. Free kicks, again, the reticle does expand quicker, but he's got 66 penalties and 58 free kicks. Set pieces, write it off. In terms of dribbling, hey, use that as you look at... The lack of traits on this card. Uh, dribbling 91, balance 97, reactions 99 with 94 ball control, 93 dribbling and 96 composure. Fantastic. He's also got 98 interceptions, 97 defensive awareness, 98 stand tackle, 97 slide tackle, 80 jumping, 99 stamina, 90 strength, plus 5 to 95, and 99 aggression. Fantastic. Of course, he does have a lack of traits, as you've been staring at in the background. But, lads, what we're going to do now is see how effective those traits are. Uh, those traits, he's got none. Uh, basically, all those stats, see if they translate over the... In Whoa, I can't even... Over into game. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Let's see if they do translate over into game, boys. And let's get in at to the gameplay. So, here we go, then, lads. In to the gameplay. Now, in this gameplay, you'll see tackles, you'll see interceptions, and you'll see Alan being in his elements. Honestly, he's a very, very good card. Uh, he's quick to close down. Acceleration does help that. His positioning on the pitch helps that as well. Of course, with, like, a, a, a midfielder. Let's just call him a midfielder for now. With those work rates, medium-high. 
That just means they're going to be in position uh, defensively more often than not. So, again, he's got a great starter position on the pitch, especially in that CDM role. And, of course, if you do want to push him forward, do the one-twos, utilise those, or just get him involved in the play. His natural position is very, very good in this game. As you see, Bernard's no longer Everton, passing to Allen. Allen does really well on this occasion. He does a burst forward. He actually gets on the end of a one-two as well. Lads, how nice is that chip? It's gorgeous. That is just a lovely chip over the on-rushing goalkeeper. Of course, I've seen the keeper coming out. And I thought there's only one way he's scoring this. Now, if I power up a power shot, he's going to power his leg back and the keeper will dive at his feet. And he'll either squander the shot or he'll get the ball before I even get the shot off. So I thought, let's go for a cheeky chip. So instantaneously, when it does come into his feet, he'll do the animation to chip it over the keeper. And that's exactly what he did. Very responsive when it does come down to that. This first opponent, skill cancels galore, mate. Skill cancels galore. But uh, Alan did play really well. Of course, he's in this kind of role here. He's actually closing down Hatteboa, win the ball back, do lose it on that occasion. Because uh, Hatteboa, he kind of did have the momentum pushing forward as well. But uh, let's talk about the things I did like with Alan. And there was a lot of things as well. Couldn't all fit them on the screen. So he's got the pace. Now, you might look at that and think, hey, sprint speed's not that great. It's only 86. That's still good. That's still good. I know at this stage in the game, we're getting a lot of high-end players. We're getting... Uh, 90s everywhere, 95 pluses everywhere. Allen, he's definitely got those stats, but he doesn't have in sprint speed. So a lot of people can say, hey, it's not as fast as this guy, this guy, or this guy. Lads, he's still quick enough to uh, impose himself on the midfield. Of course, it's because of his positioning. He doesn't have to run far to get the interception, to get the tackle off, to close the player down. He doesn't even have to sprint, to be honest, but uh, he is very, very good at it. See him on the right-hand side of Bernard here, and this is a gorgeous pass with the outside of his left foot as well. So with the freestyle weak foot, very good for passes, terrible for long shots. So again, just watch out for that. Hence why it is part of the cones. It's uh, mainly for his left foot long shots. And even long shots in general, it is 86, it is capable, but uh, I, I just beware, set occasions, it's not going to do what you want it to do. And of course, set pieces is part of the cones, and I think it's pretty self-explanatory. 66 penalties, 58 free kicks, set pieces is not one of Allen's uh, specialities, or even in his 40. As uh, I do get the pass off there to Neymar, we actually recycle possession here. Uh, is this where I do score again? Lovely pass, and this is a fantastic finish. Powerful finish as well by Allen into the back of the net. So to go for his pros, we've already touched on the pace. Aggression is key into how this guy plays. Why? Because he is aggressive in the challenge. What does that do? It allows you in 50-50s. Now, I, I on, honestly, on this game, aggression greater than strength in every single sense of the words. Uh, the more aggression that you got, the more aggressive you are in the challenge, you know what I'm saying? So for me, that is what I do look for in a lot of like CDMs. I want them to be aggressive, I want them to be imposing, I want them to close down the opposition uh, ASAP. With his defensive stats and that aggression, even his acceleration to get in there and close them down quickly, you've got some CDM on your hands, a very combatant CDM, and basically an engine in that midfield, because you can definitely pass as well. So passing, definitely another one as well. You can short pass, you can long pass, and you can basically bridge the gap between midfield and defense and midfield and attack. So that is very, very important. And he's tackling as well. This guy is such an aggressive challenger on this game. It is nuts. So again, you can see we have blurred out the screen. Overall rating, value for coins, and enjoyment coming up. First of all, we're going to touch on the similar players. Now, personally, to this stage, Declan Rice has been one of my ultimate CDMs. That's not an icon anyways. Because Declan Rice is always in position. And that, again, is because of his work rates. So again, you could see Declan Rice, and then you could see this Allen. And you could think, Hey, they're very, very similar cards. Pace-wise, quite similar. Defensive, physical, very similar. And uh, even the dribbling and passing, so to speak, very, very similar. Now, Allen does have the better shot. So if you like your CDMs to go further forwards and have more impact in front of goal, Allen's your man. Declan Rice is very good, but I reckon Declan Rice is a CDM. CDM, and nothing but a CDM, you know what I mean? But if you do want more attacking CDM that can pace CDM and centre mid, hey, even right mid or something like that, Allen is definitely your man. De Jong are very similar as well. Team of the, team of the season, Frankie De Jong. These are all 94 rated, mate. That done that on purpose. No idea. And we've also got Thomas Delaney in there as well. So if you liked any three of those, Allen is your man. Now, if you've got uh, a Premier League team, you've got Declan Rice in there, and you think, is it worth replacing Declan Rice for an Allen? You've got to go back to what I said. If you want uh, a player that can play multiple positions instead of Rice at just CDM, Go Allen, you know what I'm saying? If you want more of an imposing threat in their advanced positions, go Allen. If you want an all-out CDM, 
I still think Declan Rice is that man. So let's get into the overall rating, guys. So in three, two, one, bang, it is on your screen. And you guys can see it is a 9.6 from myself. I reckon he's a phenomenal CDM. And I also reckon he's effective, a box to box, and sort of a transition player as well. And when I say transition, I mean that kind of transition to change basically defense to attack. You're the midfield, you need to do that anyways, but this guy can transition defense to midfield, and he can also transition midfield to attack. He's that in-between player that you're looking for. It's kind of a box-to-box, -box, but a defensive box-to-box. -box. He's absolutely fantastic in that regard. As for the value for coins, I mean, right now, the price is 230 on the PlayStation, 230 on the Xbox. So again, it's the exact same price. The thing is, right now, a lot of these high-rated players, especially ones that are in packs right now, are very, very cheap. Now, you could get those players, the likes of, oh, who's it? Like, headliners Benzema. I'm sure he'll be cheap as well because he's in packs right now. So, you could get the likes of those players, bring the SBC prices down, and uh, get yourself an Allen. But again, it all depends on you. Personally, I reckon it's not a bad price for what you do get, do get for a card. But uh, you've got to remember, if you don't or won't get enjoyment out of this card, or you feel like you don't want it, don't get it. You happy with your team? Stay with your team, you know what I mean? Uh, so, you just get a 9.5 for myself in value for coins. I reckon it's not a bad price whatsoever. And in terms of enjoyment, hey, you've seen tackles, you've seen positional uh, perfection, you've seen passes, you've seen uh, dribbles, you've seen runs into close angles down, you've seen assists, you've seen goals. This guy is a very uh, kind of all action, all combative midfielder, and that brings enjoyment for me. So 9.5 as well for the enjoyment rating. Now, it is not max rating, so you can see right there 9.6, 9.5, and 9.5. But if you're going off the stars, 10, 10, and 10. I just reckon he isn't that ultimate player on Ultimate Team. He's one of the better players on Ultimate Team. So he's not getting full marks. It is things that go against him from the freestyle weak parts and the set pieces. But hey, fantastic card. Absolutely fantastic card. Lads, I think the next review will be Bernard's. Uh, as I, I might, do you want it tonight? Hey, let me know if you do want it tonight in the comments. I'll work towards getting the Tile done as well. That should be for tomorrow. Uh, I am actually quite close. You would have seen the Tile 91 in the team tonight when we did review Alan. Speaking of Alan's review, I hope you did enjoy it, lads. If you have, once again, a like would be very much appreciated. Uh, in July, the 22nd of July to be exact. It's the 22nd today. But dudes, this month is flying by. 20 seconds? Jeez. Hey, thank you very much for watching. It's been another boiling day in UK. Very, very warm. Too warm. It's too bloody hot. Hey, I hope it rains soon. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one.